play it together until Kiwoto is back? Most likely, yes, but I still don't think that that partnership is as strong as uh, the former one with Hirota in it. I don't think Higashino, she might in the future get better in the doubles as well. But for the time being, that partnership is not as strong as the original one. No, I'd agree with that. So the players are here for the prize presentation. medalists from the recent Olympic Games have to settle for second best for a second time in two consecutive years here in Paris. Ki Hong Yang making the presentation. Bronze medalist at the World Championships, the French player in 2009. Yeah, what a graceful player she was. Uh, it was lovely. Fantastic to watch. Moved so well around the court. The history makers. So he and Shin Xiang Chan, a second consecutive title here at the Yonex French Open. The first pair to do so in the women's doubles discipline. Smiles for Lee So He and Shin Xiang Chan. A fourth World Tour title in their 11th World Tour tournament final. So, coming up next, we've got men's singles and come to Suniyama of Japan will play against Cho Tien Chen, the former champion, in his third French Open final.
and welcome back to Stade Pierre de Coubert Cup. Finals day at the Onyx French Open. Our next final is men's singles and it's Kanta Suniyama of Japan up against the number four seed, the former champion, Cho Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. Well, when we look at the men's doubles draw for the quarterfinal stage, we can see that there was only two seats left. We'd actually only started with six seats because we lost both Jonathan Christie, who had been the beaten finalist at the last French Open, and the Olympic bronze medalist Anthony Ginting before the tournament got underway. But still, to only have two seeds at quarterfinal stage, one in each half, was quite extraordinary. Six different nationalities, though. We didn't have the defending champion. That was Chen Long. He hasn't come to Europe. So by semi-final stage, two seeds, three different nationalities, because in the top half of the draw, the reigning world champion, Kento Momota, who has played so much badminton over the last six weeks, uh, got a back injury and sadly had to retire against Suniyama. But it has set up a chance for the unseeded Kanta Suniyama uh, to win the biggest title so far for his career. Now, this is the road to Bali, the race to the World Tour Finals. This is how it stands at the moment. And both the players in today's final are not on that list at the moment. But Kanta Suniyama is currently 15. Whether he wins or loses today's final, he will shoot up to number four on that list. Cho Tien Chen is currently 32. If he wins, he comes in at number 10. If he loses, he's still outside the top 10 at number 12. Well, for Cho Chien Chen, this is his third final in his ninth consecutive appearance here at the Onyx French Open. And that equals the most number of finals from any men's singles player here at this particular tournament. Two other players have been in three finals. Lee Chong Wei was in three. In fact, he won three titles in 2007, 11, and 2015. But then Taufik Hidayat was in three consecutive finals. He was beaten in the final in 2008 and 9, and then he finally won his first and only Super Series title in 2010 here on this very court here in Paris. So the countdown has begun. And the first man to emerge will be the unseeded Kanta Suniyama. The 25-year-old Japanese player is trying to become the fifth unseeded men's singles player to win the French Open title in nine years. His opponent, Cho Tien Chen, walks out today for his third final, having won the title in 2015, beating Wang Jiming of China. And then the following year, he lost out to Lee Chong Wei on finals day. So for Cho Tian Chen, equaling the record of the most number of finals. And this is where it all started for Cho Tian Chen. This was his first ever Super Series tournament final. Not only did he reach the final, but as I've just explained, he won as well. So this is the seventh meeting between Orange, these two players. And black, as you can see, of the previous six, Cho Tien Chen has won five of them. Black, last time they side. met was in the second side round of the All England Championships last year, when he won 13 in the deciding game in an hour and 22 minutes. So Sunyama won the toss and he chose ends. And that says to me, Morton, that we were absolutely right and that there was more of a drift now than we had suspected at the beginning of the week. Yes. So, 
an awful lot at stake for both of these players. For this man, Kanto Suniyama from Saga Prefecture in Western Hongshu. Three places down from his career high of 10. This is his third consecutive appearance here at the French Open, but the first time he's been beyond the second round. So he knows he will go up to number four on the race to Bali, which, assuming he plays the two tournaments in Indonesia prior to the World Tour Finals, puts himself in a very good position. In the first round, he beat the 2012 winner, Darren Liu, then the number eight seed, and Carl Long, both of those matches in straight games. Then Lee Chek Yu, who was a semi finalist a week ago in Denmark, that also two straight games. And then in the semi final against the reigning and two time world champion Kento Momolta. Well, poor old Momolta with his back injury and the accumulation of tiredness was just simply too much for him. Chu Tian Chen, the 31 year old from Taipei, not only has he won this title before? He's been silver medalist at the Asian Games. That was in 2018. He's been in the All England final. That was in 2020. He has had a much harder route through to today's final. Two matches, as you can see, second round and quarter final against first Brice Loverdays and then against the 2017 beaten finalist, Nishimoto. Those were both an hour and 20 minutes in duration. And then in the semi-final, he beat Ho Kwang Hee from Korea, who's been playing exceptionally well. So Anand Joshi from India is our service judge. Stephen Vanet of France is the umpire. So Victoria Cao, the physio of Cho Tien Chen, is always on the coaching bench. He's not a coach. He prefers not to have a coach. He wants to just focus on doing what he wants to do. And each player to their own. A very physical athlete, Cho Tien Chen. But as the week has progressed, as the weeks, Ladies I should say, have progressed, he's got more and more strapping on him. <laughs> on my right, Kanta Tsuneyama, Japan. <laughs> and on my left, Chu Tian Chen, Chinese Taipei. <laughs> Chu Tian Chen to serve. Level. Play. So the former champion, the number four seed, Cho Tian Chen from Chinese Taipei, getting this match underway. Up against the unseeded Kanta Suniyama. That's a delightful little block from the former champion. One love. I like that attacking clear cross court to the deep backhand of this the, one. Yeah, that this one. one. Yeah, this is really a nice shot, and is keeping Suniyama guessing from there on. Well, Cho Tien Chen has an opportunity today to two. join only Love. two other players who have won two or more titles at this particular event. We've just mentioned Lee Chong Wei winning three titles, but Chen Long... Yeah, he's won two. He's won two. He yes. was the defending champion. The last two French Opens he won. That'd be pretty good. I mean, we think of Chen Long and Lee Chong Wei as sort of greats of the game. If, yeah. if you can get your name alongside <laughs> them in in level of achievement at a particular event, I think that's pretty amazing. Yeah. 
That should make you happy. That's long. Service over. One, two. Mr. Ben Yoniyama, president of Yonix Company. Oh, that's a good play. Yeah. Did not capitalize on that good defensive shot, Suniyama. In. So what do you think the tactics are here for Suniyama? Is he going to try and do exactly what he did against Momota, which is keep the rallies long, Three, knowing that his one. opponent, like his semi-final opponent, has played more badminton than most over the last <laughs> months or so? Yes, I think so. Uh, Suniyama uh, has only got, let's say, one game plan and that's uh, really running and retrieving. He's got some good attacks, that's what we just saw Service here. Over. I like his cross-court attacks in his around-the-head situation. Um, Two, but very three. soon in, in a match, if it becomes physical, he's not attacking that lot uh, that much, and then it's, it's becoming purely a running game. I'm not sure that's enough today. Because of Chotian Chen's sheer physicality? Four, yeah, I think two. he can withstand the pressure in terms of, uh, you know, a running game, a, a, a tough physical one. I was very, very impressed with him yesterday. I, I know that sometimes I've said that he's the master of three games and, and all that sort of thing, and he's going on walkabouts in his matches and they've become really long and unnecessary. But yesterday, he was fired up and Three, he knew exactly four. that he needed to win in two straight games. He took the best end first to make sure that he got the first game under his belt, and then he just went there from strength to strength, and I think he played awesomely. Yeah. And I would like to see that Cho Chen Chen turn up for many, many more tournaments as Service what we saw over. yesterday. Yeah. That would really be good. Five, three. He was good at the net, he was really strong in his attack. Of course, defensive-wise, always good. And he just mixed it up so well. And I couldn't oh. stop thinking when you so said that over. he thinks that he doesn't need a coach behind his court. I still think he does. Four, yeah. five. I know you've, you've openly I've, said that before. I've said it before. Yeah. I still think he needs someone that can give him advice now and again and you know, tell him perhaps this could be a good idea. At the end of the day, the player is still making the decision. So um, it's just to have a different point point of view. That's in. Good lift by Suniyama. Oh, that's landed in as well. Oh, he's challenging. Chen Chen is challenges. challenging that. Goal well, he was right in. there. Well done, line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Five oh. Roger Federer didn't have a coach for a while until he employed Stefan Edberg. Play. Prior to that, he didn't have a coach, I don't think. I'm not too familiar with it. No. In all honesty. Yeah, now that took courage because so the previous one he'd left and it was in. Six, but I, I, I tend to agree with you, Morton. I'm not disagreeing. No, no, I, I know, I know you don't. No, so. I think that um, a coach just to bounce some ideas off is That's always a good idea. 
as I usually say at the end of the day, it's not the coach's decision what to do on court, it's the player's decision. Yeah. And sometimes it's just nice to have another point of view, perhaps. And, and just another <laughs> pair of eyes sitting outside it's looking in over. and seeing something that you might not see. Yeah. And uh, I think that could be a very nice discussion, dialogue Six. between oh. player and coach. Yeah, it's a delightful cross-court net shot from Suniyama. Service over. Seven, six. By coincidence, I spoke to the um, coach, the Japanese coach in the men's singles last night. And we talked about uh, Kento Momota and his situation, and he told me that, yes, he's injured, but it's not so bad, and he should be soon ready again. That's a good guess from Suniyama. Yeah. Excellent guess. Service over. Lovely defensive shot. Well, if he's right about Kento Momota, there's a huge number of fans, myself included, that Seven. are delighted to hear oh. that it's not a serious injury and it's hopefully not. he'll be back for the Indonesian events. Yeah. On court. Oh, goodness. Yeah. That is OK. Yes. There. Service over. And another slip from the former champion. Eight, seven. He's <laughs> got such powerful legs, he actually just sort of bounced, seemed to bounce back up again. Yeah. Saved it well. Good strength. That's a lovely, lovely angle, isn't it? It is. And I like the fact that he's not going for full Eight. power, oh. but pure placement and steepness Very in that shot. Yeah. Excellent play by Kanti Suniyama. a fun fact about this man because this is his third world tour Nine, tournament final eight. he's never lost a final that he's been in Suniyama he's only been in two yes. but he's won them both and he looks to me as if he really does believe definitely that he can win this definitely but that's a very good case you must believe that you can do it yeah Out maneuvered.
9-0. Oh. That is really solid play from Suniyama. 10, 9. Again, the finishing shot here coming now down the line. Again, going for placement and steepness. Merci. It's interesting, Morton, because I can remember you saying on commentary when on Suniyama was playing the semi-final against Momota yeah. that the accuracy of his shots, he wasn't going close enough to the lines. Yes. He was about a metre inside. Yeah. But he seems to be going more for the lines today. Play. Absolutely. He, I, th I think he, he knows that he has to score points. Can't rely on just mistakes from uh, Cho. He's got to be able to put some away himself. And I, I think he's doing it really well. It's a good start from him. 10 oh. Oh, what a drop shot. The reverse slice, slow drop from Kansas Suniyama. After he'd been under severe pressure with a bit of trickery from Cho Tien Chen. Well, there's just one point in it at the mid-game interval. And the advantage is with the unseeded Japanese player. Eleven ten. Well, both you and I thought this Play. would be close, and so yeah. it's proved to be so far. Yeah. But I still think if Zhou Chenchen can bring some of what we saw yesterday to the court today, he can win comfortably in two straight games. Maybe he's not allowed against Suniyama in the same way as he perhaps was allowed against uh, Ho Kwang Hee, but still. Oh, aye, aye, aye. that is sensational. I think he was actually lucky that it took the top of the tape, Cho, on this one that's coming now, because I think it was going wide of that sideline, perhaps. But of course, touching the net slowed it down. Yeah. An amazing shot. But the spectators here, they really love their badminton, don't they? It's great to see, and there's such a great atmosphere. Yeah, the fans here, they're not only vocal, but they're very knowledgeable about the sport. They gasp when there's a really good shot and yeah. they, they understand what players are going through. Most of them, I think, it's a very good club system here in, yeah, in France. It's been built up over the last, yeah. let's say, 40 years or so. 
since the early 80s, if I'm not completely mistaken. That's my left. Service over. 12 0. Oh. So, Gio, what's I have a fun fact for you today. I was in the final of the tournament, the French Open in 1988, and I lost it to Ichuk Sukiata. Yeah. Who was in the final of the 1981 women's singles? 81 women's singles. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. OK. You have as much time as you want. Yeah. Who's winning the battle at the so net? Yeah. Cho Chen Chen is having awesome net 13, play. 13, 12. One of my single triumphs, Coach. would it? Coach. It actually is. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Is that right? Did I really win this? No, you didn't win it. You became runners up just like me. So we are sort of on the same when it comes to the French Open. You've been in the final lost, I've been in the final and lost. And there you are. Yes. Fun fact of the day. That is a fun fact, Morton. <laughs> Glad thought... I brought you. <laughs> I had to do something. You've been doing it so many times to me. <laughs> well, who did I lose to? Oh, I can't remember. Uh, 13, <laughs> I didn't check 14. that. Oh, I can't remember it. I just remember oh, Jill Clark in the final, 1981. Women's singles. Yeah, I was in the final of the Dutch Open and the Canadian Open, you know. Oh, there you are. Well done. I one have to say that you were definitely famous for your doubles and mixed, and perhaps not so much for your singles. And that's why I found it a very interesting statistics that you actually went to the final of yeah. the French Open in 15, women's singles. 13. Well done. I just sense this is a crucial phase, don't you, Morton? I do. Scoreboard. Service over. 15 13. Again, again. Thank you. Play. Well done. Missed it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I could just sense at, after 14 13, 13. Well, I mean, he hasn't sort of pulled away yet, but no. now a three point cushion. I think that could be. Oh, a vital little move. Yeah, he's going for it now, Joe. It's coming again here. Yes. Wow. wow. 
and that's how he played yesterday. Yeah. With these kind of smashes, straight smashes, cross smashes, 17, and they were so 13. penetrating, they were so good. And Ho Kwang Hee has got a good defence, had no chance. Look, Look at, that. at that movement. Yeah. Poetry in motion. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot. Eighteen, thirteen. Yeah, four straight points. From when I said it was a crucial, crucial phase. Oh, I'd challenge that, you know. <laughs> well, he's only got one challenge left. 14, Maybe 18. a little reluctant. Mm, very difficult to tell. This is a big point. It is. That's good pace. Excellent pace. Now it's slowed. Now it's slowed down. Wow. A little nod of approval to himself, Cho Tien Chen. the physical investment to get behind the clear deep in his forehand corner here. Yeah. yeah. And it was worth that physical effort. Yeah, perfect scissors okay. jump. Try to have a look. This is simply textbook. Look at that. 19, oh, 14. Two points away from the opening game. Game point opportunities. 20, game point 14. Oh, yes. Service over. Denied by a good shot from Suniyama. 15, 20, yes. And now I wouldn't be surprised if it's getting a little bit close, <laughs> knowing Zhou Chen Chen. Maybe losing one or two, perhaps three, and then trying to go for the big one. Seen it so often, but he looks determined. Game. Yeah, on his second game point opportunity, the former champion Zhou Tian Chen takes First the opening game, game against Sunyama, 21-15. 25 minutes for the opening game and a good start by Cho Tian Chen. Oh, 
唱对唱对唱，果断一点，大胆一点，上去抢，好，好不好？好，阿福兄，让阿福哦，好，做得很好，加油。20 seconds. 20 seconds. Second game. Level play. So Chuti and Chen won games in the good. 21-15 that opening game against Sunyama. Closed down the net, and it was interesting. Victoria Cow in the two minute timeout. She doesn't give any tactical advice, but she told Cho Tian Chen to be brave, just go for it, which is what you were saying. Yes, go all out. Oh, it's a challenge. Cho I don't Chen think he'll win that challenge. I thought that was in. in. I mean, it's very, very early in a game to be challenging. Yeah. Well, you were right. Challenge the mind judge was right. One challenge remaining. Service over. One all play. That is ridiculously good. A moment of magic from Chiu Tian Chen. Take a look at this. He's taken it so late. Cross court net shot from the backhand side. And he played it to perfection. That's amazing. Yeah, it's really, really tight. And <laughs> look at how hard Sunyama have to work for that one. Explaining. Three, two. I think it was earlier in the week about the forehand net shot and how much more difficult it is to control. Yes. You try and play a, a tight net shot from the forehand side. But Cho Chen Chen is doing it exceptionally well. Got a very nice touch. Oh, there's another one that's landed in. Oh, I was ready for that. Yeah, 
for Sunyama to play the backhand from deep in court. He got his back to the net. Look, he can't four. see where his opponent is, and Chilti and Chen was ready and waiting for Conta. him. been a very, very good lift oh. from Cho Tien Chen. Use your foot, use your foot. No, stay on court, stay on court, stay on court. This one, oh no, it wasn't. It's coming here. Yeah, this is yeah. the good lift. Look yes. where Sunyama's feet are when he yeah. played that. And it can be so annoying, can it, when, the, you know, you've been playing such a nice spinning net shot. And then the lift goes right to the back of the court yeah. and you start all over again. And that's a beauty. Well played by Sunyama. I like that a lot. Five, a little hold and flick, four. but this time down the line. I always think that Sunyama is sort of Six, almost four. the forgotten man of Japanese badminton because, of course, everybody talks about Momota, the reigning world champion, but he's also people talk no, about please. Nishimoto, whereas Kanta. they don't talk Kanta. about this man so much. But he is the second ranked player from Japan. He is. On the he world ranking. Wait for the answer, okay? I said no first. Yeah, I tend to agree with you. Seems a bit unfair, really, doesn't it? And he has done better than uh, Nishimoto in terms of the fact that Nishimoto hasn't actually won one single event. No, he's been in six, six or, or seven, if depends if you count the World University Games yes, finals. You, yeah. Six or seven. No, oh. That's good speed coming forward from Suniyama. Seven. Service over. Five, seven. Good follow-up, but it was cross courts, and that's the one that Sunyama was Eight, waiting for. Five. Good reactions. Out with a lucky net cord. Nine, five. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, coach. Play. So it's a handsome lead, four point advantage over the number four seed. Hey. 
And they have found over. the line. Yes. Six, nine. Service over. Ten, six. I actually think we will have one of the famous three game matches from Cho Chen Chen. Well, it's only twice gone to three games of the previous six encounters between these two players. Uh, I have a feeling you might be right, Morton. Uh, he's, he's a little bit off the boil, as you would say. to the mid-game interval. interval with a five-point advantage come to Suniyama. coach you were speaking to last night, Coach Nakanishi. Yes, it was. And he was fairly positive about it all. And he was also the one that went in to stop the match. Yeah, he was. And he realises the consequences that Momoto will get no points. Yes, we, we talked about it. And uh, yes, he knew. Yeah, play. because in my predictions or uh, calculations for the road to Bali, the race to the World Tour Finals, I've assumed that Momota gets no uh, points. No, no points, yeah. yeah. 12, 6. Clearly wide. Mm. Well, your expression 13, about going off the six. boil, I think, yeah. is very apt for this situation with Cho Tian Chen. Wide. 14, 6. That eight of the last nine 15, points, isn't it? Six. No, play, play, play. Six straight points. No. Good flick serve. Sixteen. Six. Yes. That's a very nice flick serve from Sunyama. I like that. Great change, good variety. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, totally deceived him.
17, 6. It's landed in. That's amazing. What a defensive shot from Sonny Yama. Yeah, I actually thought it was going wide, but you're so right, it stays six. in. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Can you show her, please? Well, I think you're almost certainly you. right at 18 6 up. I feel sure that, barring some hideous yeah. injury catastrophe, we will have a third and deciding game. Yeah, um, I sensed it. What, what was it? Seven five, eight six, eight five. I can't remember. Yeah, it was seven five. Right. Eight five, nine five. Yeah. Let's just see it on the body language of Cho. He's back to his normal self. Service over. Seven, eighteen. Big high serve from Cho Tian Chen. When did you last see that? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> He did it two or three times in a row, and I commented on it. I haven't seen that for, what, 30 years or so. <laughs> <laughs> and we see it two days running. <laughs> yep. 8-18. Yeah, here he goes again. Another big high serve. Service over. Two points yes. away from the second game. Point opportunities, a whole host of them. Game. One game all, 21 8, the second game. 45 second game, minutes into the match, and it's Sinayama. one game apiece. 21 8, one game all.
final game. Lobo. Play. So as the umpire calls final game, this is the moment of truth for both players. And it's just wide. Service over. Interesting that Victoria Cow was Love. asking Chorty and Chen whether he was okay, whether she, he was feeling okay, and was more concerned about his well-being than uh, about his his play. I suppose that's one of the nice things of having a physio on the coach's bench. Mm. But they're more concerned about the health of the, the not the coaches aren't concerned about health as well. Oh, that's a good placement. That's lovely. Service over. One. Oh. But I actually also think it's very, very important for coaches to ask how the players are feeling because the tactics that you are going to apply certainly depends on how the, the player is feeling physically. So I think that's extremely important as well for coaches to ask how their player yeah. is, is feeling right now. So yeah. Two, what kind of pressure one. can we apply? Yeah. Clearly long. And Zhou Chen Chen have to watch out now. I think he's acutely aware of that. Three, one. Service over. Two. And this Three. is always, I feel, is a bit of a, an issue with players who give up on a game. I can understand why they do it. If you're so far down with the uh, point per rally system that we've had in operation now mm. since 2003, uh, in Three. our day, we had yes. to be serving oh. to yeah. score a point. I can understand so, why players do so it. Hang on, what's going on? Don't call before the line judge, OK? Yeah. When it, yeah, you shout, so... Yeah, I'm just saying don't call before the line judge. But if a player does give up on a game, then to switch back on your form, like switching on a light bulb, it's height not, is tough. It's not so easy. No. Kind of get lulled into sleep. Yeah. Yeah, but he's urging himself on. Chow Tian Chen. Fantastic. What a smash. Five, three. Well, Shoti and Chin didn't want to change that shuttle. He threaded that down the line. I think there's a little psychological war going on between Cho and the umpire. Because the umpire asked Cho not to celebrate before shot has landed or was called. Yeah. So Joe is now asking, how can you change this shuttle without asking me? Mm. So I think there's a little war going on. Mm, I missed time that smash. He did. And really well read by Sunayama. Covering the cross-court smash. Straight block. And then the smash down the line. This one, look at that, Four, so easily read. Five, use your foot. No, on court. Stay on court, stay on court. Play.
Tsuniyama reading the smash once again. This time the one cross court Five. down his forehand side. Oh. A look at how quickly Sunyama gets to the net to finish the, the last shot after having been on, down on court. Five, oh. Chotian Chen, Five. he's affording himself a little celebration. And that, in all honesty, is a little concerning. Yeah, it's very early in the third game. He's normally doing that from 16, 17 on, yeah. onwards. Very little emotion shown from Suniyama so far. Well left. Service over. Six, eight. Good guess again. Yeah, that's well played. That's gone wide. And the fact that you say good guess, I think he's beginning to read it. I don't think it's guessing. He's, oh, he's no. seeing yeah. a tell. Yeah. yeah, he's got good anticipation at the moment. Yeah. Maybe learned that from Momota. Momota has wonderful anticipation, doesn't he? He has. So one point in it. different to what you were talking about yesterday. Yes, he's really been taking his chance as well. Yeah. Eight all. Round it in. Nine. Eight. Yeah, just inside the line. Play. That's in. Yeah, yeah the other one called good. Ten, eight. Joe is definitely taking the chances now.
short. Yeah. Service over. So Nine. I think it's interesting Ten. that I sit here and I'm thinking if Sunyama is going to win this match, he's going to make a decisive gap quite early from now on and let's say the next five minutes or so. If he's not able to create that gap and it goes, let's say, 14 or 15 or 16 all and so on, then I think Joe has got a little bit more experienced mm. when, when it comes to, to, you know, closing down matches and winning in situations like yes. this. So I think it's immensely important for Sunyama to, to create a 14, 10, 15, 10 gap. Yeah. Ten. So who's going to have the lead at the change of ends? This rally will decide it. Oh, off the body. Yeah. Oh! What a mid shot from Panta Armour. In trouble. Take him. Well, you won't see a better neck shot than that. What the neck courts. And it is the Japanese unseeded player, Kanta Suniyama, who has the one point advantage here in the deciding game. <laughs> The defence off the body, first of all, from Suniyama. That was utterly brilliant. But the net shot, look at that. That is what you call perfection. Yeah. 11 10. I actually think that save on the body was the best of the two. Yeah. yeah. Really of course, the net play was great, but that save on the body, that was good. Great reactions. Service over. 11 0. He's ready to pounce. He was looking for the net shot of his net shot. Yeah, definitely. Well played, Bacho. Suniyama get himself out of trouble there. That was amazing. 12, 11, yes. So just over the hour mark. Missed it. Service over. 12-0. Oh. That's it. Oh, that's a beauty. 13-12. Looks so casual with this too. Look at that. <laughs> it's a super shot. That's part of good techniques. Yeah. Makes it look easy. Oh. 
Thanks, Oliver. Well, this is difficult to call. One moment, I think Suniyama is about to just impose himself on the match and then come back from Chortian Chen. I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't know who's going to win. No. That's true. I think Joe actually had a very good chance of winning that rally. He set himself very nicely up of the net and had a chance to push it down to the deep forehand side, but he chose to play a spinning net shot and Suniyama got well out of it. defence from Chortian Chen, but didn't Suniyama keep his calm and keep his cool? Just simply playing the shuttle 14, oh. into the open space. Yes. Two, can you show him? Thank you. Play. One game all, 14 all. <laughs> that is a gift 15, for Suniyama. Yep, it is. Careless error from Chorty and Chen. changing his racket yeah no. I don't think the umpire realized he was had asked to change his racket I don't think he asked he just went out and all assumed that it, it was due to the fact that he wanted to towel down 16 14 two-point advantage can Suniyama make that little break here three points Look at the difference 15, when Chorty and Chen takes the shuttle early and yes. it's... Yeah. As we have discussed a million times, you and yeah. I. Such an important point. 
18, 15, or 16, 16 17. 17. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, that was good judgment. Yeah, it was closer than you thought. It was. Yes. That's a good backhand. Good defence. I seen good play by Sunyama. Good rally. the first time that Sunyama has shown emotion and shown any celebration. That was a huge point. Longest rally of the match so far, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, longest rally, 47 shots. Yeah, that was an important rally, wasn't it? It certainly <laughs> was. Quite possibly in a moment out. What a defensive shot from Sunny Yama. He completely overcommitted at the net Sunny Yama and got caught in that deep forehand. Yeah. That was a huge mistake, and I can understand the celebration, but he got out of a pickle on that one. Great defense. Two tantalising points from a first ever Super 750 title. An hour and ten 19, minutes into 16. the match. Uh, it's match point opportunities. 20, match point 16. One point needed, four match point opportunities for Kanta Sunanama. That one's long, my goodness. After you've just left one on the back line and it's been called 17, good. That was 20. brave. No, good umpiring. Yeah. Suniyama becomes the fifth unseeded winner of the men's singles here at the French Open in the last nine years, beating the former champion, Cho Tien Chen, beating him in three games. And the smile for Suniyama. What a tournament. Three HSBC BWF World Tour finals played, three titles won. One at Super 300 level, one at 500 level. That was the Thailand Open of 19, 
of 2018 and now here in 2021 in Paris at the French Open in his first ever Super 750 final. He takes the title against the former champion. 21-17 in the deciding game. An hour and 13 minutes. Confirmation that it came from a game down. 15-21, 21-8, 21-17 in the deciding game. Well, what a final. And I can tell you as we watch the players leave the stadium that Victoria Cow and coach for Suniyama, coach Nakanishi, leaving the arena, talking to one another. Isn't that the beauty of sports? Both players and coaches leave everything out there on the court, give it their all, but afterwards remain friends and enjoy the fact that it has been such a battle. He can hardly believe it, the moment of victory, Suniyama. The biggest title of his career. Well, Georgie and Chen always sportsmanlike after defeat. But look at the sheer joy. And he's won the title the hard way. In the first round, he beat the 2012 winner, Liu Darren. He then beat the number eight seed, Unka Long. In the semi-final, he beats the reigning world champion, Kento Momota. And here in the final, he's beaten the 2014 champion, Cho Tian Chen. Well, a week ago, Suniyama lost in the second round of the Denmark Open. Who would have thought a week on <laughs> that so he true. could lift the title? But in a way, Morton, that's indicative of, of this whole series of tournaments we've had in Asia. People who have done well in earlier events or, or led their countries to success, they paid the physical price. They have paid a definite price, no doubt about it. But it's really strong of Sunyama to be the last man standing, I yeah, think. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I'm sure he's won a huge number of fans due to the way he played today. Chinese Taipei, third time that he has participated on finals day, and the second time that he has to settle for second best. Well, his first final since the All Englands of 2020, 19 months ago, seven tournaments in the interim period. Suniyama of Japan. The Onyx French Open champion. 
his first title since winning the Korean Masters 300 event at the end of 2019. But quite clearly, the biggest title of his career so far. Well, still three more finals to come here on finals day and our next final is an all japanese women's singles affair the 2018 winner akane yamaguchi against the left-handed sayaka takahashi So our next final is women's singles and it's an all Japan affair. In fact, it's the first ever all Japanese women's singles final here at the French Open. It's the former cha champion Akane Yamaguchi won the title here three years ago up against left-handed Sayaka Takahashi. Well, when we look at the women's singles draw from quarterfinal stage, we can see that 